if you care about this country, you should watch this video. Watch this. Kentucky. Reserving the right to object, my oath of office is to the U.S. Constitution, not to any foreign nation. And no matter how sympathetic the cause, my oath of office is to the national security of the United States of America. We cannot save Ukraine by dooming the U.S. economy. This bill under consideration would spend $40 billion. This is the second spending bill for Ukraine in two months. And this bill is three times larger than the first. If this bill passes, the U.S. will have authorized roughly $60 billion in total spending for Ukraine. $60 billion is more than every other country in the world spends on their entire military expenditures. If this gift to Ukraine passes, our total aid to Ukraine will almost equal the entire military budget of Russia. And it's not as if we have that money lying around. We will have to borrow that money from China. Did you hear that? Let me play that for you again. And it's not as if we have that money lying around. We will have to borrow that money from China to send it to Ukraine. The cost of this package we are voting on today is more than the U.S. spent during the first year of the U.S. conflict in Afghanistan. Congress authorized force, and the president sent troops into the conflict. The same cannot be said of Ukraine. This proposal towers over domestic priorities as well. The massive package of $60 billion to Ukraine dwarfs the $6 million spent on cancer research annually. $60 billion is more than the amount the government collects in gas taxes each year to build roads and bridges. The $60 billion to Ukraine could fund substantial portions or entire large cabinet departments. The $60 billion nearly equals the entire State Department budget. The $60 billion exceeds the budget for the Department of Homeland Security and for the Department of Energy. And Congress just wants to keep on spending and spending. My question to you watching this is, did you know that the United States government did not have the $40 billion to send to Ukraine? Did you know that? Did you know that Democrats, mostly Democrats, because they are the one pushing the bills, who pushed the bill, borrowed money from China to send it to Ukraine? Did you know that? The same China who supported, still support, Russia invasion to Ukraine. We borrowing money from them. Yo, this is amazing, bro. So let me explain something here to you. You pay taxes. You pay for these people, politician, for their salary through taxes, of course. You are sitting at home, maybe, or doing your thing, minding your own business. And these people decided, you know what? Because we are so nice, we are going to borrow money from somebody else, send it somewhere else, and you will pay for it. You pay for it. Through your taxes, you will pay for it. Who else is going to pay for it? You and I, our kid, grandkids, will pay for it. This is amazing. Democrats hate this country. They don't care about the United States of America. Everything happening to this country. We have inflation, baby formula shortage, fentanyl killing 100,000 of, of Americans. The border is a mess. Gas price, food price, homeless. We have, home, we have homeless. Did you know we have homeless? They can use that money. We have rent. Rent went up. And what are Democrats doing? They borrow money from one country, China, send it to Ukraine, and we have to pay for it. That is amazing. God bless this man here, Senator Rand Paul. He is one of the few men nowadays willing to tell the truth, right? Because the majority of people, of men out there, not even only in Congress, not only in Congress, the majority of men out there are coward. They are afraid to tell the truth. They say something happening, something wrong, and they just look somewhere else. Like, well, it's not the job, Joe. It's, it's like what's happening with the whole abortion. You see a young girl killing a baby, and you as a man, instead of saying, hey, that is wrong, you cannot kill a baby, that is wrong, the majority of men, it's her choice, it's her choice. Let me know what you think about this, bro. We, the United States, do not have... 40 billion dollars so you borrow from china to give it to ukraine god bless you